speakers certainly do sound like they know what they're talking about. But when put to the test, do they really know a man with money when they see one? We thought we'd have a little fun testing their gold digging abilities. Now behind our millionaire door are five handsome men. One of them, I repeat, only one of them is a real, honest to goodness, eligible, wealthy bachelor. The other four are lying. Now your job, ladies, gold diggers, is to identify the one with the biggest wallet. Now the prize for this is a beautiful diamond ring. Ooh. Look everyone, isn't it beautiful? Oh. And possibly a date with the man who has what you're looking for. Gentlemen, why don't you come on out? the show. Okay, now each of the women has one question for the guys, and they will all answer that same question. So let's start with Jennifer. Jennifer, what is your question? What do you do for a living? I own a chain of car washes in New Jersey. I'm a musical producer and assistant engineer here in New York and in LA. Okay. I'm a partner in a family-owned real estate firm. I have a public relations firm. I'm a partner in a large advertising company. Okay, thanks. What do you spend your money on? Ooh, fine restaurants and art. Ooh. I travel as much as possible. Uh, I just bought a boat off the coast of Florida, so I spend most of my money there. I travel, look at properties, and buy real estate. I travel for adventure and spend my money on jazz tapes. <laughs> on what? Excuse me, on what? Jazz tapes. Jazz okay. tapes. All right. Okay, what, what about you? What's the most expensive gift you ever bought a woman? Most expensive gift. Ooh, I bought her a... Round trip ticket to Hawaii for two weeks. Ooh. Nice. What about you, bachelor number two? I put a woman up at Huntington Beach in uh, Los Angeles, California for uh, three months. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I, I, it would probably be I, I uh, bought a uh, diamond bracelet. I'd have to say an engagement ring that didn't quite work out. The same. The same. <laughs> Okay, Laura. In the winter, I get very cold. What warm vacation spot would you whisk me off to? The Greek islands. Um, I usually go to a place in Bermuda called Churchill Bay, which is real nice in the winter. Um, it would have to be the U.S. Virgin Islands. There's a, there's a place out there on St. John, I believe, and it's uh, called Camille Bay, and that's, uh, that's where I take it. I'm sorry that you get cold because I have a beautiful house in Vermont, but it's warm by the fire. Ooh. It can only be the French Riviera. Really? <laughs> and finally, Beth. Okay, gentlemen. We can all see that you're wearing the same suit, which, by the way, all five of you look just splendid in. However, my question is, what kind of underwear are you wearing? <laughs> Um, Calvin Klein thong underwear. Thong underwear? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Boy, I wish I had x-ray vision. <laughs> Being the nature of my job, and I'm in the studio all the time, I usually don't wear underwear. <laughs> wow. What kind of underwear am I wearing? Why don't we just go back to my place and you'll find out. <laughs> Bachelor number four? I have my Joe boxers on, and they glow in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Just silk briefs, that's all. Oh, silk okay. briefs. All right. Wow, I think they did a great job. What do you think, audience? Yeah. That was definitely great. OK, ladies, it's time for you to choose. Who do you think is the real wealthy man? Oh. Write down your answers. Wait, we get to sit. What do you think, audience? Just write them down on the piece of paper. Okay. All right. Okay, let's start with Jennifer. Jennifer, who do you choose? Three. Number three. Okay. How about you, Aaron? 
Number three. <laughs> All right, two for number three. What about you, Tara? Three for three. <laughs> number three. <laughs> I almost, and I really just almost put three. See, but I say number five. Number five. Okay. Will the will the guy with the biggest wallet please wallet. step forward? <laughs> 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 